Have you ever had a brilliant idea for a website, but the thought of messing about with code, writing loads of content, or having to make endless design tweaks made you give up before you even get started? Well, you're not alone. For most people, building a website feels complicated, time consuming, expensive, and frankly, a bit soul destroying. But what if you could just ask an AI to build it for you? Hello, computer. And it will do all the coding, design, and layout for you in minutes. Yeah, that sounds good. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to build a fully functional website completely with AI and without having to write a single line of code or messing about with a drag and drop page builder. And by the end, you're going to feel pretty smug because you're going to have a live website on the internet that's been completely built with AI and it's going to be the easiest bit of work you've done all week. Hi, my name is Steve from entrepreneurnut.com and on this channel, I share tips, tools and strategies to help you work smarter, not harder. Now, let's get into the video. So the AI platform we're going to be using is called Lovable, and honestly, it's one of the most impressive website builders I've seen so far. It's basically like having a superhuman full stack engineer right at your fingertips. In a nutshell, you write what you want in normal language, any language, and it builds it all out for you. No coding, no templates, just your ideas turned into a real fully functional website. So to show you what you can do, I'll be building a website for a fitness coach. It's going to be a modern looking site that showcases the fitness coach's brand, services and testimonials, and includes a contact form for new inquiries. Now that said, you can actually build any kind of website you can think of with Lovable, even websites that have fully functional apps, which I'll show you how to create in another video. Now, once you first log into Lovable, this is what your dashboard is going to look like. And if you don't yet have a Lovable account, then you can get access to a free plan of Lovable via the link in the description below this video. Anyway, on this page, this is where you can start writing your prompts, get Lovable to start creating websites and apps for you. But if we scroll down, we'll see, first of all, these are other projects that I've created myself. And further down, these are other examples of projects that you can see from other people in the Lovable community. So if you want to check out what other people are building, you can just click the preview buttons here. For example, let's look at this one right here. So this person's built a fitness app with multiple features to help the user monitor and track their stats and fitness goals. So before we get into actually using Lovable, we need one crucial thing, which is design inspiration. And I'll show you a brilliant free website that makes this part super easy for you. And that website is called Dribble. Now this is a free website and I've left a link to it in the description box below this video, so it's easy for you to find it. Now Dribble is one of the best websites for design inspiration, and it's basically got tons of screenshots of all different kinds of websites and apps, so you can get a clear idea of what you want for your website. So the reason I'm using this is I'm gonna take a few screenshots that I can then upload to Lovable with my prompt. Lovable will then be able to see and read and understand those images, and then use those concepts in our design too, which is pretty awesome. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna write in here, fitness coaching website. And now here I can see all different types of designs that people have already created for fitness websites. Now, we're not just going to create a replica of these websites with Lovable. What Lovable will do is use these screenshots for inspiration and ideas, and then create your own website with a similar look and feel. So this is super handy to help Lovable help you get exactly what you want. So taking a look at these screenshots here, I quite like the look of this one. So I'm going to right click and save this image. And then let's have a look for a couple more. Usually like to get at least two or three if you can. So how about this one as well? It's going to take this one and perhaps this one too. Let's save this. Okay, great. Now these will come in really handy when we upload them later to Lovable with our prompt. Now at this point, you could just go to Lovable and upload your images and then write a couple of sentences, tell Lovable what you want, and Lovable will start creating for you. However, to get a much more powerful result and something closer to what you actually want, definitely worth spending just a couple of minutes writing out a better prompt in a bit more detail and then giving that prompt to Lovable. A great tool to help us with that, of course, is ChatGPT. So here we are in ChatGPT and I asked chat this prompt right here, basically asking for it to create a prompt that I could give to Lovable AI to create a fitness coaching website. I then told ChatGPT that I'm going to be uploading some screenshots of fitness website designs to Lovable. So please mention those to Lovable in our prompt. I then told chat a bit more detail about the website. For example, it's going to be aimed at men over 40 to help build muscle. And that besides the homepage, I also want a contact page, FAQs and a privacy policy page complete with the content already written as well for each of those pages. So I want Lovable to write the content too. And then if this was a real website, of course, I could then upload my own content later and get Lovable to replace that content with my own content. Just for now, I want Lovable to write the content. There's a bit more direction on the style of the website I'm going for, along with the color codes I want to use. I want Lovable to create my logo as well. And the brand name I want to use is called Midlife Muscle. So now ChatGPT created this prompt for us right here, which is a much more lengthy, in-depth prompt. So I'm going to copy paste all this and give this to Lovable. Okay, so now we're at the stage where we can ask Lovable to build our website. So let's jump into Lovable and get building. 
Okay, so here we are inside of Lovable and right here is where I'm going to paste in my prompt when we created in ChatGPT right there. And the bottom here, we'll see we've got this little option for attaching files. So I'm going to click on this and now I'm going to find the folder where I've put those three images of our screenshots for our fitness coaching website right here. And I'm going to upload these to Lovable. And one more. So now we've got our three images with our prompt. And I click this little arrow right here to submit our entire prompt. And now just like that, Lovable gets to work creating our website. Now this does take a few minutes. Just know that Lovable is working in the background, building your website. So I'm going to pause the video right here. So don't waste your time. I'll be back with you in a sec once Lovable has created our site. Now Lovable is still working on our site, but just to show you underneath here, once we've entered our prompt, Lovable here is telling us, oh, there we go. It's actually created it. So I'll show you in a sec, but Lovable on the side here in the sidebar is showing us that it understands our message and then it's letting us know step-by-step step what it's implementing as it builds. Now that took entirely about a minute and 30 seconds is how long I had it paused for. So not too long at all. And now this is the website. This is what it looks like. This is pretty awesome. Like, okay, this image is pretty impressive, but we can clearly see it's AI, but that's okay for now. Of course, what we can do later is if, you know, I was actually a fitness coach, I was building this website for myself. I could then with my next prompts down here in the bottom, click this plus button to add more images, like real images of me or what other images you want to add to your site. And I can specify to switch this image out for an image of myself and so on. But this is a pretty nice looking website. I mean, I really like this. This looks really impressive. I think the colors look great. The start was really cool. I've got a few freaks when you ask questions right here, everything's interactive as you can see. The button to the full FAQs page, and we have all our menu options at the top about contact FAQs. Got a button here to book a consultation. This is awesome. Got a professional footer section with our privacy policy page. Now, what we can do is if I come to the top, there's this little button right here, this little arrow. If I click this, this is now going to open our website in a preview mode. So this is what it will actually look like. And then we can click a few of these buttons. So if I click on this button, I presume this is going to now take us to the about page. And yes, it did. So you can see now we're on the about page right here. So this is pretty cool. And of course, like I said, you can switch these images out for real ones. So that's no worries. Book your free consultation. This will probably go to the contact page. Yes, it does. Now here's our contact page. Of course, you could get Lovable to embed your booking calendar on here if you want. So if that was a booking calendar you created in Calendarly, you just get the code from Calendarly, give that to Lovable and tell it to embed it on the contact page. And then you'd have your fully functional interactive Calendarly booking calendar embedded on your Lovable website. Pretty awesome. Here's the FAQs page. Now this looks really nice. It's different FAQs with the toggles. And Lovable also, as you noticed, has created all this content for us too, which is, this is amazing. I mean, it took one and a half minutes once I gave Lovable the prompt. And compare that with trying to build the website yourself from scratch in something like WordPress or Squarespace or Wix or something. It's going to take you days to put something like this together, probably, unless you're, of course, a skilled website designer. And it took one and a half minutes once we entered our prompt. So that's seriously fast, seriously impressive. Now back inside of Lovable right here, I also want to show you that our website has also been fully built out to be mobile optimized too. So if we look at the top here with this little tab, I can click on this and toggle to see what it will look like on a tablet view right here. I click again and I can see it on mobile too. So it's already all optimized for any kind of device that someone might view our website on, which is pretty awesome. Okay, quick pause here. If you're getting value from this video, please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. On this channel, I share step-by-step -step guides on how to simplify a tech side of your business to help you be more productive, how to actually use AI and other smart tools the right way, and how to turn those tools into systems that can potentially bring in more revenue. So if that sounds good to you, then I'd love you to be a subscriber so you don't miss what comes next. Now, let's make a few changes to our website. I'm going to ask Lovable to embed a placeholder video right here that we'll then switch out later for our real video, like an intro video. And I want it to be to the right of our heading. And also, I'm going to ask Lovable to create an exit intent pop-up that will appear on our homepage if someone navigates towards the back button with their mouse to leave our website. I want that pop-up to encourage the website visitor to click a button on that pop-up to book a free consultation. So let's see if Lovable can do this for us. Okay, so here's my new prompt. I've asked Lovable. I've written here, add a placeholder a video to the home page above the fold so the fold is the bottom part right here so on desktop view the video must appear next to the h1 heading so this is the h1 heading and i want the video to appear right here so hopefully love will understand that and then i've said on tablet view and mobile view i want the video to appear below the heading so when we look on mobile view or tablet view the heading will be here and i want the video to appear right here so let's see if Lovable can do this for us. And I just told Lovable this is basically going to be a short one minute intro video. And then I've also asked Lovable to add an exit intent pop up to the home page that will trigger when the website visitor's mouse moves towards a back button on their browser. The pop up should include a heading to grab attention and a short call to action to invite the website visitor to book a 15 minute consultation with a clickable button that opens to the contact page. So let's submit this prompt and see if Lovable can create this for us. So Lovable is going to have a little think and then start to go to work. So I'll pause the video and be back with you in a sec. 
Okay, and that took about 40 seconds. And yeah, Loverball has put this placeholder video for us right here. And if I move my mouse to the back button, here is our pop-up. And let's just check it on tablet view. Oh, I've got the video above the heading. That's all right. I asked it for it to be below the heading, but we can easily change that by giving Loverball another prompt just to ask it to switch that over. And let's see what this actually looks like on our preview site. So here we go. Here's the video right at the top here. And of course, as I asked for a placeholder, this is not actually a real video yet. This is an image, which I can then ask Loverball later to switch this out for a real video. I navigate my mouse to the back button here comes our pop-up with our button to book a free consultation click on this and it goes to our contact page exactly what i asked for now back inside our lovable dashboard you can keep prompting lovable to make changes that you want and then once you're happy it comes to the top right click on the publish button right here now of course if this is a website for your business you're going to want to set this website up on a custom domain so just be mindful that if you're using the free plan of lovable you can create this completely for free in lovable but it will be hosted not on a custom domain it will be on a subdomain of lovable which would look something like this so not very professional it is a website for your business but if you wanted to add your own custom domain you would need to upgrade to a paid account of lovable but if you want to add this to your own custom domain you've got two options option one is you can upgrade to a paid plan of lovable which i'll show you the paid plans in a minute they start at 25 dollars a month lovable will then host your website for you and you can click this button right here to add a custom domain this is super simple super easy if you've purchased your domain in a place like namecheap for example or godaddy you just simply click this button right here and then lovable will actually connect with your namecheap or godaddy account and you'll be able to see the domains you have in that account you specify which domain you want to connect to and it will even set up all the name servers for you and change them for you on your behalf inside your name cheap or godaddy account or wherever your domain is registered so that's seriously impressive and it saves you a bit of time doing that yourself now i'm not going to do that step right now because i'm not actually using this website for anything i haven't bought a custom domain for it this is just a demo for you guys but i have done this process with another website that i built inside of lovable lovable connected that website to my custom domain inside my name cheap account for me and it took about one minute so if that's the option you wanted to go with, as I said, you'd need to upgrade to the pro plan right here, which is $25 a month. That will include your website hosting and be able to connect to custom domain. And you also get a lot more credits to build more websites and apps inside of Lovable. So just so you know, on the free plan, you get five daily credits and up to a maximum of 30 credits per month. On the pro plan, you get 100 monthly credits with additional five credits added every day to your account. So just to give you an idea what that looks like inside my Lovable account right here. So I am on the pro plan. If I click in the top left corner i'll see how many credits i've got right here and i should have showed you this earlier actually i forgot to show you but to give you an idea how many credits we've used to build this coaching website i had 43.9 credits left before i built this website and now i'm down to 39.9 so it's only taken four credits to build this entire website as it is but then each prompt each new prompt i start to give to lovable will start to use more credits so that gives you an idea this is actually quite a generous limit i'm finding these credits do last quite a long time so if you see yourself using Lovable ongoing to build more websites and or apps, then that option might make sense for you. However, if you don't want to continue to pay for Lovable month after month, you just want the one website, then the second option might be a better option for you. Let me explain it. So what you need to do is open a free account with github.com and I've left a link to GitHub in the description box below this video because it's easy for you to find it. GitHub is a place where you can connect your Lovable account and then share your website or whatever you build in Lovable to your GitHub account and GitHub will store all your website files for you. Now, as I said, you can open a free account and if your website project is only small or you've only got a couple of them, then you should be able to do that just on the free plan. But then in order to actually host your website on the internet, you would then need to connect your GitHub account to a platform like Versa and Versal will actually be the website that will actually host your website live on the internet. And Versal also has a free plan here. So if your website is small and doesn't get a lot of traffic, then you should be able to host that on Versal for free. But if you have a very high traffic website with loads and loads of visitors coming to it, then you would probably then need to upgrade to a paid plan of Versal, which would be $20 per month. So just bear that in mind. So if you want to do this option, what you need to do, as I said, open a free GitHub account. And then inside your Lovable account right here, you click this button at the top right next to the publish button to connect your project to your github account that will share your files into your github and then from within inside github you connect that to your versal account and versal will host your website live on the internet so option one is definitely much easier much more straightforward just to host it with lovable but bear in mind you'd need to be on a paid plan of lovable at 25 dollars per month and if you're going to use lovable ongoing to make more apps it, that makes sense for you so there you have two options whichever suits you best now if you want to see how to use the top five ai video generators to create content really fast then watch this video here next